Hey everyone, it's Rachel. In this video, I will show you how to figure out what any note on the guitar fretboard is. And then in part two of this series, I will share some useful tips that will make this process faster. These concepts have helped me a lot to better understand what I'm playing on the guitar as I've been learning the instrument. So to start out, let's cover the basics. When you first look at it, the guitar fretboard can definitely be intimidating. There are lots of frets and lots of finger positions, but in reality, there are actually only 12 notes. These notes are A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, and G sharp. And just so you know, you could also state these notes a little bit differently in terms of flats instead of sharps, but that's not super important right now. One important thing to keep in mind here is that every note has a sharp except B and E. So there's no B sharp and there's no E sharp. So that's it. The notes only go from A to G and there's only 12 of them to remember. Now obviously the fretboard has a lot more than just 12 places to put your finger, but that's because the notes repeat in higher and lower pitches. So you can find a higher E and a lower E on the guitar and the notes themselves also repeat in places across the guitar neck. So to figure out where to find these 12 notes on the guitar neck, we need to first know the names of the open strings. For a guitar in standard tuning, the open string notes from lowest string to highest string are E, A, D, G, B, and E. There are lots of phrases you can use to memorize the names of the strings, but one of the more popular ones is Eddie ate dynamite good by Eddie. So if you just remember that phrase and the letters at the start of each word, then you can memorize all the open strings pretty quickly. You may have noticed that there are two E strings, so there's a low and a high E. They're the same notes, just one is tuned higher. So if you play any note on the low E string, like let's say on the third fret, when you play that same fret on the high E string, you're actually playing the same exact note, just higher. So now that we know the names of all the open strings, how do we know where the other notes fall on the fretboard? Thankfully, it's actually pretty simple. Starting from any fret on the guitar, if you play a note and then move your finger up to the next fret, you are raising the note to the next one in our list of 12. And this is also called raising the note by a semitone or a half step. So using the low E string as an example, the open note is E. And then if we put our finger on the first fret, it raises the E by a semitone to F because there is no E sharp in our list of 12 notes. And then from F, we have F sharp, and then G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, because there's no B sharp then C sharp, D, D sharp. And at this point, once we've gotten through the 11th fret, we've actually gone through all 12 of our notes. So the notes actually start repeating. And at the 12th fret, we actually have another E, just an octave higher. Maybe you can tell that those notes are the same, just one is a much higher pitch. Now, in case you're wondering, in technical terms, when you move a note up an octave, it's just doubling its frequency. So any note that is double the frequency of a starting note is an octave higher, and any note that is half the frequency of a starting note is exactly an octave lower. But really, all you need to know is that if a note is an octave of another note, it is the exact same note, just at a higher or lower pitch. So this is the same for all strings on the guitar. The 12th fret will always be the same note as its corresponding open string just an octave higher. So that means across the guitar we have E, A, D, G, B, and E, just like the open strings. In fact, when you go up 12 frets from any note on the guitar, you will find that exact same note. So if you start at the fifth fret on the E string, which would be an A, and you count up 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you found another A. And that is a cool thing to keep in mind. So again, since the notes repeat after the 12th fret, if you know any note on any frets between one and 11, you'll also know where to find that corresponding note higher up on the fretboard. And you can play the same licks or riffs or whatever you want higher up the fretboard with that knowledge just in a higher register. So this right there eliminates a lot of the hassle of trying to think about the fretboard because if you just know the first 12 frets, you'll also know the other 12 frets or whatever you have on your guitar fretboard. And also again, if you know the low E string, you also know the high E string because it's a 
exactly the same in terms of the notes on it, it's just higher. So with just this knowledge in hand, you can figure out what any note is on your guitar fretboard. It may be slow at first because you have to count up and count backwards to figure out which note is which if you don't have any notes memorized, but it is totally doable. If you want to practice finding notes, one thing that can be helpful is to just pick a random note, let's say A, and then find every instance of A that you can on the guitar fretboard. You can start by looking at the low E string and then figure out where A is. So we have E, F, F sharp, G, D sharp, A. So there's an A there. Then we know that the next string is an A. It's actually the same note. And then there is an A at the 12th fret because it's an octave higher and you can just count out the notes and figure it out that way. Over time, you'll start to memorize the locations of the notes. However, I actually don't have all of the notes on the fretboard memorized, and I don't think you really need to. I do have mostly the low E string and A strings memorized, but if you have that done, you can actually use a bunch of cool patterns to navigate around the fretboard and make it a lot easier to figure out where the other notes are without having to strictly memorize every single fret on the fretboard. So in part two of this series, I will share the patterns I use to more quickly navigate the fretboard without memorizing every single note. Once that video is out, I will have it linked down below. I hope this introduction to the guitar fretboard and how to figure out where the notes are on the guitar was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.